of Swat. The King of Crash. The Colossus of Clout. The Colossus of Clout. Babe Ruth. The Great Bambino. George Herman Ruth Jr., or as most of you know him, Babe Ruth. The man who started chewing at the age of eight. The man who started drinking whiskey at the age of eight. The kid who signed with the Baltimore Orioles as a local right-handed pitcher at the age of 19 is the most overrated player of all time. Before I get into that, let me give you a little backstory. So Babe Ruth, uh, like I said, was originally um, signed by the Baltimore Orioles. He actually lived out of uh, what's now Camden Yards. He lived right outside of there. Was eventually traded to the Red Sox from the Orioles because um, the Orioles owner was going broke. And eventually, the same thing occurred in Boston. Uh, a guy bought the team. He didn't have enough money to sustain the team. So he had to trade Ruth to the Yankees. And we all know how that trade worked out. The Red Sox were cursed for, what was it, over 100 years. Babe Ruth is responsible for the pinstripes being on the uniforms of the Yankees nowadays because Babe Ruth was so fat that they wanted to make him look slimmer and putting pinstripes on the uniform would achieve that goal. Ruth would often get into fights with hecklers and on one occasion he got more than what he bargained for as when he jumped into the stands to go after a heckler, that heckler had a knife on him and pulled it on Ruth. Luckily, his teammate was able to break up the altercation before anything happened to Babe Ruth, and the game kept being played. He often got thrown out of ball games for arguing balls and strikes. On one occasion, he argued balls and strikes while he was pitching a game in the fourth inning, got thrown out, was relieved, and the Yankees ended up pitching a perfect game. However, he was not credited with a perfect game, nor was the other. He was just credited with being a part of a combined no-hitter. But... He would always uh, be arguing balls and strikes and would get thrown out quite often. It's also well documented that Ruth would show up to the games very late, right before the game, and this didn't sit well with his teammates. He would also hold out of spring training almost every single year because he felt he should be paid more than what his contract, which he previously negotiated, was going to give him. There was one season where Babe Ruth missed 41 games with the quote-unquote uh, belly ache heard round the world. What? There was one time where Babe Ruth was playing left field at Yankee Stadium, and he lost a ball in the sun. Like any quality teammate and stand-up player would do, he refused to play the sun field ever again, and the Yankees moved him to right field when playing in Yankee Stadium. His bat's name was Betsy, and that bat was later determined to be illegal by the MLB and banned because it was made of four different types of wood glued together. In the infamous called shot, Ruth was being heckled by the Cubs dugout and he pointed to the Cubs dugout, which you can see in this photo. He later on after the game was interviewed by the media and he said, oh, I pointed to the center field flagpole and I said I'm going to hit the next pitch over the flagpole. You be the judge of whether that happened or not. I'm quite skeptical. Babe Ruth had a sub-3 ERA, which is nothing to sneeze at until you come to the realization that Babe Ruth pitched in the dead ball era. It wasn't until Babe Ruth started hitting that the modern era of baseball, or the live ball era, uh, began to take form, or it was called the modern era of baseball, because people started hitting home runs. Babe Ruth debuted in 1914 and pitched until 1920. Earn run average was not even a statistic kept by the MLB or baseball in general until 1917. So that means all that Babe Ruth had to do to get that sub-3 ERA was pitch two halfway decent seasons in the dead ball era. In terms of hitting... Ground rule doubles during Ruth's playing career were actually counted towards home runs. So his home run numbers are obviously inflated because of this. Ruth also played the majority of his hitting career in the polo grounds, 
which is underneath 300 feet down the line and is actually 258 down the right field line. Babe Ruth is only regarded as the greatest player of all time because he was getting great press and also great marketing in general. He was starring in uh, vaudeville shows, which is like comedy-type shows. And um, when you get your name out there, people start to believe that you're greater than you actually are. If Babe Ruth played today, I don't think he'd make it a month in the MLB. I think Tim Tebow has a better shot than Babe Ruth does. But you guys should let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think Babe Ruth was overrated, or do you think that he's one of the greatest of all time? I'd really be interested to see what you guys have to say. Thank you for watching, and until next time, peace.